Hi everyone. Hello. And welcome back to the channel. I'm Mitch. And I'm Miss Mitch. And today is the uh, 17th of May 2023. Beautiful spring day in uh, Armenia, in Yerevan. We're going to take you to a very special place today. Uh, and I think you're all going to really enjoy this, especially those that are here visiting, maybe for the first time mm. in Yerevan. We're without a car at the moment. Uh, our car, our car's engine and transmission basically is in a thousand pieces, which we saw yesterday. <laughs> uh, and it's getting rebuilt. So thank you to all our subscribers. Thank you to all who watch and who support our channel through uh, Patreon and other means. We really, really appreciate it. Yes. And we hope you enjoy this uh, video. I think you're gonna find this really amazing. We're heading through the um, cafe restaurant precinct of the Opera House now. Mm-hmm, it's beautiful. Just an amazing time of year here in, uh, in Yerevan. So now we're on the corner of Mesrop Mashtots Avenue and uh, Tumanyan. Tumanyan goes all the way up there to Saraya. The last three videos that we've put out, one on uh, Ghani and two on Gumri, we hope uh, really inspires you because uh, it inspired us and it's given us great hope for our country. We hear a lot of people complaining about um, Armenia, yes. there's no future here, etc, etc, um, border problems, government problems, all of this sort of thing. We want to give you a message of hope if you haven't watched those two videos, especially on uh, Gumri, yes. we suggest you really do that yes. and take inspiration from the young people who were born with a disability. Mm -hmm. Some acquired uh, their disability through some accident or whatever. The thing that struck us most is they don't give up hope, do they? No, 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 never. First time I met this kind of people in Australia, I was amazed. We work Always with disabled positive. people back in Australia. Yeah. And they are very, very inspiring to us because they yes. just never give up. We can learn a lot happy. from them. They are best of the best example of life. Yeah. If you like the video, just tick the like button. That helps us a lot, actually. Yes. Okay. That's Tumanyan there. We just came from the Opera House. The city centre is there. And we are beginning our little journey on uh, Sarian Street. And you'll see a whole heap of little cafes and restaurants along here. So we are uh, again on uh, Sarian and uh, yeah. we are now uh, overlooking behind us here is a beautiful park. Yeah. Now that goes all the way down to Mesrop Mashtots I mean, Avenue. Mm -hmm. So if you're coming from Republic Square you just simply walk up uh, to this square but we've come a different way. We've come to show you the cafe yeah. Yeah. and uh, right underneath us, yeah. just under there, uh, is a tunnel and that tunnel will take you from like uh, busy bustling Yerevan into a wilderness I can say yes. uh, which is just quite amazing so we're going to do that right now there's two tunnels we're going to take well the only tunnel that's open is the one on the left so first we wanted to show you this beautiful park I can't remember the name of this park I can't remember probably either. put it in I'll type it in later. Flowers are out, beautiful flowers here. And uh, we've showed you this park before actually, so we won't spend too much time here. There's a restaurant here and down the other end as well. Beautiful flowers. Amazing roses. It's such a beautiful time of the year, spring in Yerevan and in Armenia in general.
Soviet Union, these two tunnels, one when we were in, mm -hmm. and another one on your right hand, yeah. on my left hand. So come and renovate these two tunnels. Mm -hmm. Just just give joy to children, because some maybe little car can take them from Canyon, from Rasdan Canyon, and bring to the center. I'm really, really shocked. I've been here first time when I was 20 years old. I nearly reaching 17. And for so many years, after the Soviet Union collapsed, and these tunnels, tunnel never been renovated, and another one on my left hand, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, across of this wall. I can't understand why Armenian people from diaspora, mm -hmm. I'm not sticking my hand in anybody's pocket. Mm. You think no future in Armenia, no such as like, you know, uh, special, something special or good waiting for Armenia. Why? Why are you thinking about, uh, like, you know, why are you thinking about uh, things like that? Why you can't invest your money, not for me, for future generation, for the children who haven't got some joy in their life. And many children have been like, you know, from many children, childhood been stolen. Mm. Maybe you can put car from here, from Razdan Gorge. Like a little to electric the center. Yeah, something. Uh, put, like, you know, uh, uh, sell some tickets. And children can be, like, you know, use these cars and jo have joy. As you can see, uh, all of this stuff on the wall here, we don't want to see, we don't want to see that. No, Why should children have to see this rubbish? Only once. I was really surprised, but I'm really appreciative because he told me President Kennedy said never ever say what government have done for me. Well, mm -hmm. Rather, what, ask. I'd rather ask question to yourself what I have done for my country, mm -hmm. for my people. Just come and renovate this. Mm -hmm. It's not so difficult if you reach, you have, and just and just people always going to remember you because children want this. Mm -hmm. So after coming out of the tunnel, and we go left here, this is the only way to where we're going at the moment. You have to walk alongside this building. New entrance, yeah. And this one. You can still come down here by car. Just such a beautiful area. This is not our final destination, by the way, but it's so peaceful through here. And there is an old Soviet building down here, quite a unique one. And we'll tell you about that when we get to the bottom. So I think this is going to give you some clue of uh, where we are. Like I said, we're in the Horizon Canyon, but it's a very beautiful part here. And look, there's a little railway there. That's actually a children's railway that was uh, designed and constructed initially in the um, mid 1930s Uh, the building is there's just no information I'm trying to find somebody who can give us a bit of information and tell us when the trains are running but there's nobody here and it's su such a beautiful location too yeah. and you've got the Hrazdan uh, river there this is the gorge this will lead all the way through to um, the Kievan Bridge and beyond. Here's the old locomotive. Seen better days, but it's, uh, I think this is the oldest steam locomotive in Armenia. And of course, it's on a narrow gauge rail. So we just discovered some very interesting information on this uh, children's railway. See, uh, Mrs. Mitch, she's talking to uh, one of the only men we found here working here at the moment. A railway is 
not open during the weekdays yet, but it will be on the beginning of uh, June, 1st of June onwards. It'll be running from 12 till, I can't remember when, I think eight every day. Right now, it's only operating on weekends from 12 to I think eight. Uh, and this is the only, um, uh, the locomotive behind me is the only one that's operating at the moment. The cost of the fare from uh, up until two years of age, uh, it's free, the train ride. Mm -hmm. And from two to uh, mm -hmm. whatever, <laughs> my <laughs> our age, yeah. uh, it's 400, 400 drams mm -hmm. uh, each. Mm -hmm. That's about Less than a dollar. No, it's more than a dollar. More, more uh, than now, now it is. Just slightly over a dollar. Uh, but the other interesting fact is that all of this place is going to be renovated. All of it's going to be renovated. It's a four-year project, partly funded by government, part by private sector. And even these trains are all going to be renovated. The park that we showed you initially, that's all going to be renovated also and it's going to be starting very soon all of this work so uh, good news good news some old wagons here now it doesn't look like they're operational anymore but, uh, again am amazing tourism opportunity I think oh there's another little bridge across there too I remember when I was uh, nine years old eight or nine mm. my mom brought us here yeah. and this we was we were sitting on these wagons uh -huh. i was in these wagons i remember but from this day on mm. and uh, after soviet union collapsed never ever was renovation or something been done special for the kids yeah. armenian kids going through horrible stress yeah. because of situation because of mm. lots and lots of things this is something so we why, can do for why them. can't why we can't bring some like you know like here to Armenia. Mm, yeah. Everything should be overseas. Mm -hmm. Why our children don't deserve something special? Mm. Little drop of ocean, your your ocean, you can bring to your motherland, mm -hmm. and children are going to remember you always. Yeah. Platform area here overlooking the river. Now, who would think that this is just the other side of the uh, the city itself? You can't hear any car noise only the river so peaceful and beautiful it really is yeah, so if you're even if look even if the railway is not operational it's a good place to come maybe you're newly married maybe you're but still old much, much maybe more. you're oldly married like us yeah like us <laughs> still I love you and uh, and just know. enjoy the quiet and but be Beauty nice to see kids here, kids, yeah. children. Mm. Well, they because will be on the weekend. Armenian children. It's Armenian magpie there, if you can see yeah, it. Terrible, terrible stress. Going up there. So why we can't? Why people from overseas can't do something special for for the kids? Mm. Because so already enough stress for them. Actually, this this really all needs renovation. Everything needs renovation. And uh, so so much potential. It's it's yeah, it ridiculous. So for the mechanically minded among you all, this is obviously a, um, an engine from one of the trains. And this is, well, this is an overhead cam V12, V12 engine. Yep. Who knows from when and from what era that came. But it's amazing. So there's a little uh, footbridge going across the Krasdan uh, River. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty and beautiful? Mm -hmm. And there is a road on the other side that goes. Um, from the Victory Bridge up to and past the Kievan Bridge. If anyone's interested in driving along, you can come this way. Uh, maybe look for this mansion on the top of the canyon there. 
park your car here anywhere along here and walk along this footbridge and then you'll get to where the children's park is or the railway, Yarravan Children's Railway so Mrs Mitch so peaceful yeah yeah beautiful. so even though the uh, the uh, train line is not operating now yes. uh, during the weekdays if you're here uh, in Armenia looking for something to do like come and fishing. come and have a look, look here there. you can walk along this railway line and it's so so peaceful beautiful you can see the river down there man fishing what more could you ask for and the city is literally up there and over the other side of that hill you can't hear a thing just amazing anyway the project um, the renovation project of the um, the amusement park and the yeah, railway no, station going to, for, going to, for four years mm -hmm. he said four years going to be modern carousels and uh, cars and uh, some like you know like little boats uh, and uh, he told about um, that going to be escalator on mine uh, with mine stairs uh -huh. and from the end further than this train mm -hmm. uh, they're going to build um, to Kivan bridge uh, houses uh, uh, cable car yeah uh, yeah and you'll be the connection between Kivan and here the old railway station are they going to renovate that or are they going to 100 percent completely they're going to keep not renovate the they're going to rebuild only building going to be renovated so even if you um, even if you're just here visiting now we would highly recommend you come down here it's so peaceful and you can walk right along here we discovered some uh, ladder and mr mitchell want to remember his childhood he climbing up this ladder to find out what's going on there ah, right. and what right there that's the canal. There. A canal? Yeah. Ah. A little bridge, going yeah, you can hear. Okay. Interesting. Yep. There we are. Yep. Wait. That didn't sound too good. So I just remembered this part here. I've been here once before, but I never knew the railway line was just up here. So, just here, with another little footbridge. And over there, there is a pool you can bathe in. Across the other side there, there's a like an open air gym. Free to use. You can come here anytime and uh, do your workout. You can see people just sitting peacefully there. Wonderful. And the railway has even got its own little tunnel. I think it doesn't... <laughs> it's, it's not serving any purpose other than the fact that it's a tunnel. Just constructed to give the children joy. We've got a fallen tree. It doesn't go across the whole river, I don't think. If I, <laughs> in my childhood, I'm sure I would have gone to the end of that to explore. That's certainly not now. Yeah, we're, I'm in self-preservation mode at the moment. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this uh, little video of yeah. um, a little walk in the, through the city and to the um, Yerevan Children's Railway. Mm -hmm. and uh, 
We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. We, we love it here. It's so tranquil, so peaceful. Yeah, it's beautiful. So anyway, uh, next week we hope to get out in the car again if our car... Did I can show you better places. Uh, yeah, through uh, Vanadzor and things like that. But anyway, so... Uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Stay safe. God bless you. God bless. And thank you very much to all of you for helping us. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 God bless. You.